8. Happy Vlogmas Day 8, y'all. Um, it is 6 o'clock at night almost. It is pitch black. But we are out here. We are returning. Um, what are we doing? Oh, we're returning stuff at DSW. So I figured I'd say hello and bring you guys hello. In with us. <laughs> bring, us. Bring you guys along with us to DS DSW. And then... Um, and then we'll make my bed later and do advent calendars and it'll still be a fun night. So it's raining. It's raining as always. I feel like this entire vlogmas has been pouring down rain, but anyway, let's go into DSW. <laughs> smell of leather when you first walk into a DSW. Like a new car smell. It just hits different. I don't know. Comment down below if you guys also like the smell of leather. It just smells expensive. Like new purses, new shoes, new cars. Leather smells expensive and that's why I like it. Order pizza mm -hmm. from Papa John's, and tell me why it sounded like the operator was outsourced. I think she was. Like the way that they were asking the questions were so weird. Like normally, you know, how normally when you're ordering your pizza, it's like you know that 17 year old that lives down the street from you, yeah, and he's just like, "Yo, what's up? Like, what you want on your pizza?" Mm -hmm. This was just like a hello, thank you for calling Papa John's, and then it was every other word was a sales Wait. pitch. That's wild though. Yeah, the intake calls. I guess everybody's moving towards call centers now. You know what? That's good though because you could work from home. Yeah. So that's smart, right? It's not the same. I love working from home. It's not the same as little 17 year old Jimmy down the block calling no. you about <laughs> your large pizza. But I mean. And messing up your order? Yeah. If you didn't get my order wrong, did I really order pizza? Mm. I don't know. Guess we'll find out. Anyway, off to Papa John's. We're getting pizza. Bye. Rambling. Okay. Update on the bed. I got this king size comforter set from Macy's. It has eight pieces with the comforter, the shams, the bed skirt, and the sheet set. I decided that I threw. I wanted to throw away a couple of my pillows, so. I'm gonna be buying some new ones this weekend. Um, but right now we just have that Lone Ranger over there holding it down. Um, I also have my weighted blanket, which is my favorite thing in the whole white world. So um, I'm just gonna unpack that and set up the bed.
right, so I know that it looks a little flat right now with just the one pillow, but I need you to trust the process. I'm just going to explain the vision. I'm going to have a couple more pillows up here at the top, and I also want to get a body pillow for the side here, and that's going to like fluff up the bed so much, but trust the process, guys. By the end of Vlogmas, this bed is going to be perfect. I guarantee it. So yeah, this is just phase two. And it's also like super comfortable. So yeah, with all that being said, let's get into the advent calendars. All right, as always, we're starting off strong with the 12 days of Sockmas, but let's continue with day eight, which is down here. I used to think that these like pictures had something to do with the socks that were behind the door. They don't. Oh. Gray snowflakes. These are probably my favorite pair that we got so far. Um, I love gray socks. They're like my favorite. So this is really nice. And it kind of matches my outfit. Yeah, so this is really nice. Love these. Moving on to our famous chocolate liqueur advent calendar. Um, what is today? Today is day eight, so that it will be up here. Can't read this, but it has something to do with oranges. That's what it says in the name. It's a spirit day orange. So I assume that it's made from oranges. I don't know. Let's consult our good friend Google for this one. One sec. So this is a original French orange liqueur um, comparable to triple sec. French orange liqueur and it's comparable to cordials, schnapps, citruses, and triple sec. So I don't know what any of that means, but sounds like it would be good so that definitely tasted like oranges 100% but it was good though like I think what I like about the chocolate advent calendar is that it forces you to step outside of your comfort zone because before this I have never tried a cherry liqueur I never tried a pear liqueur and now I had an orange one so not bad not bad um, would I do this one again? Probably not <laughs> because I'm not a fan of dark chocolate, but these are actually really good. So moving on to the final one, which would be our 12 days of beauty from Target. Um, we're on day eight. This is a makeup eraser i've never heard of this before in my entire life what is a makeup eraser erase all makeup with just water machine washable reusable lasts three to five years great for sensitive skin eliminates waste i like this it's sustainable used for erasing makeup applying toner or removing face masks so i guess it's like some sort of cloth oh yeah it is I'm like afraid to touch it. I don't want to mess it up. And this bag is 100% biodegradable. Oh, this is awesome. And it's reusable and it doesn't have alcohol in it because that was my one gripe with makeup removing wipes is that they all have alcohol in it. And I have like combination to dry skin, but like most of my skin is dry. So it's like alcohol is really bad. It makes my skin so bad. So. Yay, I'm excited to try this. This one's actually really awesome. This is probably my favorite. This is probably my favorite beauty product that I got so far. So today's just a day of favorites. It's got my favorite socks so far, my favorite chocolate, and now this reusable makeup remover. So, all right, y'all, that is it for the advent calendar. And that's ending today's episode of Vlogmas. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you did. Make sure you are subscribed and that you hit that notification bell so you never miss another episode. And I will see you all tomorrow. Bye. 